What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in this briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury Swimming Hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. What was your brother doing in this shithole? Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. I agree. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Locked. Jack, that key you got from Will's briefcase. He doesn't fit. Okay. I'm gonna find another way in. Make it quick. I'll keep a lookout for unwanted company. Can we find a way in, Jack? We shouldn't stay out here. There's no way in over here. how to get inside the whole building's falling apart it's got to be an opening somewhere how you holding up I've been better but at least monarchs feeling the heat I checked online big anti-monarch protests going on all over the city I took some crazy pictures to fuel the fire man Hey, Nick, this looks a lot like your taxi. Can't be. I parked it way back at the... Holy shit! That's my goddamn license plate. How the hell did it get here? I don't know. I have a feeling somebody beat us here. This is all connected. Some kind of message. Think, Nick, think. Zero, one, one, two, two. Zero, one, one, two, two. Numbers, teleporting, tax, 
Axes. Math. What is this? Okay, I've got it. I have a theory how my taxi ended up here. Your taxi what? Hey, I think I found a way in. Zero one one two two. It's located south of here. I left my car at the university. It ended up here. It went south. Now you said time is like broken. What if space is broken too? And everything. Damn it. These stutters aren't going away. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. Okay, May 17th, 1998. This is William Joyce, and I'm about to conduct the first animal test machine prototype ago. using my trusty mouse. Must have hauled a lot more of this place than just some old boxes. He's gone. Where do you you go? owned this place since Shit. 1999? Come on, Schrodinger. Come Why didn't you tell me? No wonder you are always coming up with crazy shit. Okay, finally, we're sending Schrodinger into the machine. We need to keep our contact limited from this point forward. I'll find you on account of this completely. We emerge exactly five minutes after he enters the machine. It has now been three minutes, no sign of Schrodinger. And we're back. This is Bobby Radford with the latest. We've got an official statement from Monarch Solutions, and it's just what you'd expect, really. You know, your typical slick, mealy mouth bullshit. Any luck in there? Working on it. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. About time. This note, it's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Yeah. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. Told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure gone, taken. Oh, shit. What the safe, empty. I just need to know you have it, because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. July 4th. Holy shit. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing What this was that? You told me you to stay recorded that for me in 2010? I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get uh -huh. it. And the entire place is a disaster. So the countermeasure's the gone? Countermeasure, gone. Taken. It's not good. Oh, shit. We need to figure this out. It's safe. Let's Indeed. keep looking. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future... Help me push this out of the way. Our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. <clears throat> Please. Jack. Hurry. Your brother addressed that video to me. <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish. But he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. <clears throat> but I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Is that? Yeah, I think so. <gasps> Second time machine. This changes everything.
If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. What the shit? I saw some kind of visions of this machine in his workshop. He must have hit it here. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will is leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. This could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. Here goes nothing. worked. Okay, we activate the corridor next. Oh, Jesus, look at that thing go! It's a hell of a thing, huh? Jesus, look at this thing. One guy built all that? The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. Thank God. Oh! Did you guys see that? Will's key did that? Yeah. Key to a time machine and he left it in the trunk of his goddamn car. <laughs> That's my brother in the nutshell. Let's just hope it still works. No, 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 no. What? God damn it. I don't know. We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. We don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no.
The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There he is. You are right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? It does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who can win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. 